Teacher tip 14, the 10 second rule. When you ask a student a question, be patient and give them 10 seconds to answer. Here's what many teachers do. They ask a student a question, the student is trying to think of the answer and then the teacher already moves to another student. And then that actually shows two things. Number one, the student will really feel like, oh, I needed more time to answer. I feel stupid. Uh, this teacher didn't give me enough time. It also shows students that you are impatient, which isn't very good for a teacher. You want to be patient. Ask your students a question. Wait for them. You could rephrase it so that they understand. Give them 10 seconds to answer. If they can't answer, go to a friend and say, oh, Johnny, can you quickly help her out? And then you also give them time to answer. Why do we do this? If you really believe in your student and you want them to succeed, it shows that you have faith in your students. Think if you have a really good student and you know they can answer something and you ask them the question, you would give them more time. There are many studies that also suggest that the more time that you give a student to answer, the better results they will have in that class later. Number 15, use proximity. Don't be afraid to get near learners, but also don't tower above them in a way that may invoke a flight or fight response. When speaking to younger learners, go down to eye level so that you don't intimidate them. What do we mean with proximity? While you're teaching or while the students are doing activities, walk around the classroom to show them that you are comfortable in the class. You aren't going to sit in one corner and wait. You're going to take up space. You're going to walk around. You're going to survey the students like a general surveys his troops. When working with difficult students, you also want to get close to them to show them that you are there and they have to be on good behavior. If you have a difficult student, put them close to you so that you can check in on them and they can also feel like you are not afraid to get close to them. But a big mistake many teachers do is they are perhaps older and they're working with the student and the student is doing something bad. So the teacher stands above them and tries to intimidate them with size. The first time it might work, but they will get angry with you. The next time you do it, they will actually verbally attack you or they will dislike you. On the flip side, if it's someone that's a bit meeker, if you tower above them, they will be afraid of you. And that isn't a good situation to be in with students too. So what I suggest is get close to students so that they know that you are comfortable with it. But if you are admonishing a student, don't tower above them and try and intimidate them. That is a weak tactic used by weak men and women. Also, if you're working with younger learners, get down on your knees, eye level, talk to them. They will like you more and they will feel like, oh, this teacher isn't trying to scare me. I can talk to this teacher. So that's a very good idea for young learners. Number 16, create routines. Structures and routines help students feel safe and understand their roles in the classroom. Previously, I talked about procedures. You want to have procedures in your class that students can follow. Once a student comes into your class, they need to know exactly what will happen. Prepare them for success. So have routines, let them come in and they know that the teacher is going to do this, 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 and I'm supposed to do this, this, and this. So structures and routines are just the way that you set up your class for success. Procedures are the things they have to do. If they do something wrong, they will have that feeling of, oh man, I messed up. So make sure to have a structure in your class so that students know what is happening. Who do they go to? As humans, we feel way more comfortable and safer if we know what our role is and what will happen. That is just the normal way people are.